Hello friends, hope you're doing well. This is Cool IT Help and this is my new video tutorial about a very useful plugin inside the Eclipse. Yes, I'm talking about the Sonar Lint. This plugin is very helpful for developers. If you are a programmer, if you want to find the bugs and you want to improve your quality of your code as well, so you can use this plugin. This is very powerful. And Sonar Lint shows you the issues as you code. Okay, it provides the on the fly support. And it points the new issues as well. That's why you can focus on your coding. And this plugin is available across all the IDs. If you are using Eclipse, Visual Studio, Atom and IntelliJ IDEA. So this plugin provides the support on all these platforms. So first we have to install this plugin then we'll see how does it work. Now uh, before going to install it uh, I would like to share one thing this Eclipse plugin works on uh, some latest IDE so if you have a Eclipse previous Eclipse IDE and this is a previous version of Eclipse and you're facing a trouble to install it so just download the new one and I have tested this uh, installation on Eclipse Mars. Now I'm going to show you from the beginning. First I'm going to download the Eclipse Mars and then I will uh, show you the installation steps. Let's get started. So open your favorite browser. Just type the download Eclipse Mars. Okay. Finally I'm, I'm on this page. Okay. Now choose the first link. Open on new tab. And here is the link that we have to download this is the Eclipse Mars and this is the direct URL I have given inside the description box so you can copy from that okay I have already downloaded here and I'm going to launch it okay now the small window is open for setting up the workspace path so it is default path suggested by the Eclipse so I have chosen the same one now it is loading okay finally I'm on the Eclipse and uh, we are ready to start now uh, okay first we have to go here the help menu click on that and now choose the Eclipse marketplace option the second last option yes just click on it okay now this is marketplace window is open now here we have to find out that sonar plugin there's a find uh, box so just type sonar and click on this search okay so now the search is completed and the results came so the version 3.2.0 is ready for install here's the install button now just click on it <coughs> okay now once everything is fine you can see the here and that's an all plugin is uh, ready for installation and uh, once press on the confirm button we will get this license agreement page okay now choose this accept term and license agreement click on the finish button and the installation is started now okay once it is done and you will get this uh, window to restart your Eclipse ID so press on the yes and it will take a restart in few seconds okay here is ready and now setting up the sonar lint on the right corner you can see that it is uh, by default start analyzing whatever the code inside your uh, workspace so right now i have a single project sonar test and it has a single file test main.java so sonar 
plugin has started analysis on that and uh, it produced the results on the code so what is the code quality and what are the issues inside it so as you can see here i have a created simple class and just a main method and inside i have put two syso okay now we're getting some zigzag line under this syso as well as you can see here in the problem tab some problem is mentioned here okay now uh, there's another way if you want to run the sonar analysis on whole project that's just select the project do a right click and come here uh, choose this option sonar lint and go here and just click on this analyze now finally you will get this sonar lint report in this tab you can see that inside the description it is showing that there's a problem with SYSO now we have to replace it with a logger and the same way the second line is telling about the line number 8 there's also a problem that SYSO is not a good thing and you have to replace it by a logger also there's one line at line number 5 so it is pointing that this is to do command that should not be there and we have to remove it also the fourth one the message that is coming that he is saying that you have to move this your class inside a package a good package name so sonar lint supporting you that pointing out your issues and uh, suggesting you to improve your quality of your code so the sonar lint will display the report here inside so you can see under this description we have these errors and messages so if you want to check a more so you have to just do a right click on it and come here on the rule description option just click on it so it will display the standard that we should follow so why this saying the message why the why this plugin is saying that this is not the correct way so it has given explanation and the clear understanding that how you can rectify those errors so you can do right click one by one and it will suggest you the exact rule okay so how to code that the same line on which it is showing an error so this was the sonar lint installation process that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates Thanks for watching.